sold out Sullivan Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. The National Football League is on the air. Today, the Miami Dolphins meet the New England Patriots. An overcast but comfortable day. The temperature in the 60s, a big, important game for the Miami Dolphins. Particularly important for the Patriots, though, because the Dolphins, undefeated at 7-0, the Pats 5-2. They've come from behind to win three straight. They're on a little bit of a roll right now, but if they lose today, they are effectively four games behind Miami, not three, because when they come to the tiebreakers, Miami with the two victories would effectively be another full game ahead of them. Miami coming off a 28-10 win against Houston. Dan Marino, 20 touchdown passes on the year, the number one rated quarterback in the league. Number two, Tony Eason, who plays for the Pats. Of course, I don't have to tell you about Miami's record up here. I guess I will anyway. One win in the last eight tries. They haven't scored a touchdown here in three years. Those are the obstacles Miami has to overcome this afternoon. And the Dolphins have the ball for the first time offensively from their 16-yard line. And the ball goes to second and ten. Bennett. And Carter on the split back, in behind Marino. Here is the give off. This is Carter outside of the left. He's at the 20, turns the corner up across the 25 and gets out to the 27-yard line, and that uh, should be good enough for a first down. And the Dolphins getting great blocking from their offensive line. Very interesting what Miami is doing here, Rick, is they're changing people on every play just before, sometimes as they break the huddle, and New England's defense is unsettled right now. Dan Johnson was in the game for the last two plays, and the blocker did an effective job in Miami. If New England was expecting him to come to throw today, they're a little bit surprised right now. Miami's running the ball. One back offense. Woody Bennett is the one back. Split Duper to the far side. Clayton to the near side. Carter is out of there. Dolphins have a first down at their 39-yard line. Marino rolls back to his left to throw. He looks upfield, lost one. Hand down there, Johnson's got it, out of bounds. Inside the 35 at the past 33-yard line. Five. This is the first time this year that I can remember the Dolphins affecting the run to set up the forward pass. And on that play, that New England defense, which I told you on a previous play, was off balance. That time, Marino sprinted out to his left and had clear sailing and winged it to Johnson cutting across the field. So, Van Schaman, We'll get a second opportunity. They marked the ball at the 11. He got no gain at all. So the Dolphins got a life off of that uh, unsportsmanlike conduct call, off of the previous field goal attempt, and they couldn't get six points on the board. Marino, only one out of five thus far. And this time, Von Schaman will try one from the 19 to 29 yard attempt. His track will hold 8.43 left to go in the first quarter. Staves up over the football as Strack has the hands extended. Here's the snap. Goodwin set down. The kick is up. And he puts it right through there. So Von Schaman kicks his sixth field goal of the year. His second. But the only one that counts in this ball game. The Dolphins jump out to a 3 to nothing lead. Or rather stagger to a 3 to nothing lead. With 8 minutes, 33 seconds left to go in the first quarter. More over a 29-yard field goal. 51 yards, 10 plays. Final of possession, 355. Franklin will try a field goal. He is 5 out of 8. This will be a... 49-yard attempt. Here is the kick. It is through there. 49 yarder for Tony Franklin. He wants to score up at three. We have two minutes and 33 seconds left to go in the first quarter. 59-yard drive and 10 plays. Time of possession, 554, and it's tied at three. Walker deep in the middle. Kozlowski far side, Eddie Hill near side. Franklin forward, a high short kickoff against the wind. Franklin drifts, or Walker drifts over to his right, grabs it 14, 15, 20, 25, 30, and he runs it all the way out to about the 34-yard line. Backs are split, Carter and Bennett. The receivers are spread, Clayton and uh, Duper. Back to throw is Marino. He runs into one of his own blockers, digs out of the pocket. He fires it wide right open, and shots it across the 50. Falls down, gets up, runs for the sideline, and he's going to be driven out of bounds at about the 47 or 46 of the Patriots' territory. 155 left to go in the first quarter. Back to split, so the receivers. Here's the play fake. Marino drops the throw as time to the near side. Clayton's got it down inside the 30, and he's wrestled out of bounds. Down at the Patriots' 26-yard line. Check it from the 17-yard line. Third down and one. Marino marks the signals. Here's the play fake. Wants to throw it. He's in trouble. Puts out to his right. He looks. He looks. He throws at the end zone. Caught. Short of the end zone and going to be knocked down at the one-yard line. Here's the tight end, Dan Johnson. Marino was running all over the place. Back to the right side, desperately looking for a man that was open. All right, still second down for the Dolphins from the uh, about six inches away, maybe less than that. From the one foot line, give off to Johnson. He's got a touchdown. Rams in over left tackle. And I mean, they felt that 258 pounds that time. 
All right, Uber can make it a 10-3 ball game on 14-32 left to go in the first half. Waiting snap is Don Strzok. Here it is, set down, the kick is up. And it's good, so the Dolphins out in front now by a score of 10 to 3, and the crowd here at New England has grown silent. The Dolphins lead 10 to 3, but the Pats have their most serious threat going now with two minutes left to go in the half. A second down and eight at the Dolphins' 15 yard line. He's from the QB up under center, barks the signal, awaits the snap. He drops the throw. No pressure, throws the end zone. Man open, touchdown. To Clarence Brothers. The point stands up, and it's tied at 10. With 1.55 left to go in the first half, Eason to Weathers, 14 yards on the scoring play, 65 yards, 9 plays. Here's Franklin's kickoff from the 40. He hits it high and deep way back in the end zone, and Walker will not run it out. Dolphins will start with a minute and 55 seconds to play and a half from their own 20-yard line. I keep thinking about that St. Louis game where Miami got the ball back with 55 seconds to go in the half. It looked like St. Louis was about to make a run at him, and Marino took him down the field for a score. We'll see if he can duplicate that. It's a much tougher defense for the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. 10-10, ten to 10, the score is tied. Hurry up offense, no huddle. From the 24, second down to long six. Marino will throw it. Drops the throw. Look. In the middle, and is caught by Clayton up at the 40-yard line, and he's dumped immediately by Ernest Gibson. 39 seconds, two timeouts remaining, third and 10 from the past 48-yard line. Score tied at 10. Let's see if Clayton told him anything. Back in the huddle about being open. Out of the shotgun. Here's the snap. Marino looks. Across the middle. Ball is tipped. Matt Moore grabs it off and gets deflected off his own hand. Gets the first out of the 33-yard line. There's that experience. We're ready to go. Out of the shotgun, first down at the Pats 33 yard line. 32 seconds, one timeout remaining. Snap to Marino. Stops the throw against the blitz, off to his right. Throws it in the middle and it's top to 28. Down to 20 by Nathan. 15, down to the 10. He's down to the 8 yard line. They're definitely in field goal range now. Clock ticking off the second, 20 seconds to go. And the Dolphins may have to use their final timeout here to stop the clock. Third down and goal from the Pats 19. The clock has not moved 11 seconds. All right, so he's got plenty of room to operate from. One back. Marino, four receivers. Marino drops the throw. He looks. He fires. Open his oh, door. Touchdown. Matt Moore right across the middle. Three way record. That breaks the record, of course. 58 touchdowns in his career. Breaks Larry Zonka's all time career touchdown record. And Matt Moore wide open across the middle. He threw the ball. Moore grabbed it at the four and pulls it into the end zone. Rock below, Von Schaumann can make it 17. Snap, set down, and kick is blocked. Dolphins, instead of getting a seven-point lead to go to the dressing room with, now have only six. 16 to 10 in favor of Miami, and Nat Moore has scored 58 career touchdowns as Marino comes up with a tremendous play to Moore across the middle, 19 yards, 80-yard drive, and nine plays. Took him only a minute and 49 seconds. The score was six seconds left to go in the half. That's the end of the first half as the Dolphins in a seesaw match lead the Patriots by a score of 16 to 10. They will go with the shotgun. No, they won't. He has the shotgun people in there. Four receivers, one back. And from the 24-yard line, Marino drops straight back to throw. He's in the pocket. He fires it. It is caught by Jensen up at the 35-yard line for a first down. Marino from his 36th, second down and nine. Backs are split, so are the receivers. Just begun play in the third quarter. Here is the end around with Clayton carrying the ball to the far side of the field. Turns the corner, 35, 40, 45 to the 50. Gets the block down to the 45, down to the 40. Takes the tackle inside the 35, down to the 34 yard line. Super effort by Mark Clayton and the Dolphins pull out the flanker reverse as Clayton drawing some beautiful blocking off the far side of the field. Rambles for 30 yards. And Steve Nelson finally brought him down. So they get the shotgun people in, and they suddenly put the ball back to the New England 44-yard line. From where it'll be a second down and uh, 20. Miami took the opening kickoff and have held on to it now for about four minutes. From the Pats 44-yard line. On the snap, Marino drops the throw. The blitz coming, they pick it up, he fires it, it is caught down at the 25-yard line. A few reception by Jimmy Cephalo. You asked what happened to him a while ago, Hank. Miami has held out of the ball now for about six and a half minutes. They have a third down and a long five from the Patriots' 18-yard line. Receivers spread all over the place, one back, in behind Marino. From the 18-yard line, Dan drops the throw. 
He pumps one. Breaks out of the pocket. Going to run. 15, 10, slides. Now the eight-yard line. So he runs for the first down, down to the nine-yard line. And they've kept the football now for eight minutes. Have a second and goal down at the five-yard line. Back to split. Bennett and Nathan. Back to throw is Marino. He throws it. It is caught for the touchdown. And it's about time he got his ball into the end zone to Dan Johnson. Snap, sits down, and kick is up. And this one is good. So the penalty is of little significance. And the Dolphins jump out to a 13-point lead with 6.40 left to go in the third quarter. It's Miami 23, New England 10. 80-yard drive, 13 plays, time of possession, 8 minutes and 16 seconds. And here is a very good kick by Van Schaman. It is back inside the 5 at the 4. Williams starts out 10, 15, 20. Hurdles 1 and is knocked off balance and falls forward to about the 25-yard line. And the Pats start from their 24-yard line. In motion is Robinson. Here is Easton. Play fakes, drops the throw. He's going deep near side of the field. Morgan is down there. He's got it, and he's gone. 75 yards for the touchdown, and the Patriots are right back in it. Here is the snap. The kick is up, and it's 23 to 17. In 10 seconds to get back into the game. What the Dolphins need is a big play out of special teams. Walker over, grabs the kickoff at the 5, 10, 15 to the 20. He gets out to the 25-yard line. They won't get the big play on that one. So he starts 75 yards away into the wind again with 6 minutes and 12 seconds to go. And Marino's going to be asked to do it again. Well, so we knew this was going to be that kind of a game. And uh, this could be uh, back and forth up the field the rest of the way. So it's third down and uh, a long eight for the Dolphins from their 27-yard line. First down here is something that they desperately need to keep the momentum going. Third down conversion, seven out of ten. Marino brings Potter in, a lot of confusion at the line of scrimmage. Now people get set. Here's the snap. Give off the Carter. He's got a hole. 30, 35, 40. He is off to the races. 50, 45. the Dolphins a trap over the left side and Joey Carter with that tremendous speed of his plus one and that shuts the crowd up. That was second down and ten from the past 38 yard line. Carter the only back. Reno will drop back to throw. He looks, he looks he fires for the near side and is caught by Clayton. Puts the juke step on at the 25 and gets down to the 20 yard line. He took the quarterback out of it. Tony Nathan is the back now. Duper and Clayton the wide out. Second and five from the 15. Quick drop Marino. Across the middle, it is caught down by uh, by Clayton, and he's down at the goal line. He got in for the score. Spikes the ball. Mark Clayton, a slant over the middle, and as he spun around, we caught his number. He was right as he broke the play to the end zone. He was right at the goal line, so that's a touchdown. Now, Henry, and I guess that breaks the record. That breaks the record. Shattering records all over the place today. Yes, we are, both offensively and defensively. 29 to 17 is the score now as Marino comes back with his third touchdown pass of the game, his 23rd of the season, and that's a new career season record, breaking Bob Greasy's old mark in 1977. Three minutes and 31 seconds left to go in the third quarter. And the Dolphins lead by a 30 to 17 margin. So the 75-yard uh, drive in eight plays. Marino to Clayton, 15 yards for the TD time of possession, 241. So at the end of three periods, the Dolphins 30 to 17 lead is a little bit shaky now. 11:32 left to play. Eason will spread his receivers. Morgan to the near side, starring to the far side of the field. Double tight ends to two for the only back. On fourth and five, Easton plays fakes, rolls to his right, throws it into the middle. It is caught for touchdown. Derek Ramsey, the tight end, is the fellow who caught the ball, but Easton takes the snap, kick is up, and that's what it is now. Miami leads by only six points, 30 to 24 with 11.27 left to go in the ballgame. Franklin will kick off against the wind, a 61-yard drive, 12 plays, took him 6 minutes, 57 seconds, east into Ramsey, 5 yards for the TD. Uh, high, short kickoff, Walker drifts up, grabbed the ball at the 18, 20, 25, 30, and he gets out to about the 33, 34-yard line on the far side of the field. In motion, Heidi back to the far side. Marino drops the throw, across the middle, and a fine catch. At the 49, across the 50, and down into uh, Patriots territory goes Mark Clayton. Went right up the ladder as Roland James knocks him down at the 48-yard line. 
Big up the 17 yards, so Marino comes right back. Second down and two, the ball at the 35-yard line. Receiver spread to either side, one back. Here's a give to Bennett, got a hole right side, 30, cuts it upfield, 25, down inside the 25-yard line to the 20-yard line. Third down, a long five. The ball at the 15-yard line, just outside the 15 of the Patriots. The Dolphins, eight out of 11 in third down conversion. He was put off Duper to the far side, Clayton. To the near side, Moore lines up as a running back along with the, the 15-yard line. Marino drops the throw. He looks, lost for the end zone. Moore open, touchdown! Jack Moore picks up his second TD and his 59th career touchdown as Marino throws for his fourth touchdown pass of the game. And Moore broke wide open in the middle of the end zone and all Marino did was lost a little basketball-type lob and he got it right in there, and he was so open it was in deep. Dolphins again answer with a touchdown. That is Marino's fourth touchdown pass of the game, his 24th of the season. And the score now is 37 to 24 Miami with 8.24 to go. That drives 66 yards in six plays. Time of possession, 255. Marino to Moore, 15 yards for the TD. Miami closing in on another 500-yard game in offense. I'm quitting a statistician. <laughs> Eight minutes to go in the ball game. In motion comes Weathers to the near side. Blitz on. Here's Easton's pass. Caught by Weathers. 50, 50, and Langford with that great world-class speed drives him down from behind. Again, right into the teeth of the free bad defense, which never prevents anything. Got to hand it to this Patriots team. They're certainly not caving in. 30, uh, 7.30 left to go, and they're down by 13, but they're right back down at the Dolphins' end of the field again. First down at the Dolphins, 17. All right, here is the handoff going to Tony Collins in the ball game. He is booked. Loose ball at the 14-yard line. Dolphins may have it. They're coming out of there running with the football, and let's see who's got it. Up at about the 30 to 29-yard line, William Judson, who's been the goat all afternoon, comes up with a key turnover and runs it out. 351 and counting. Dolphins at their own 48 first down lead, 37 to 24. Lost McNeil for four weeks with a knee injury. Here is the give off to Bennett. Left side, got a hole, 50, 45, 40, and he rim, runs over a tackle and runs out of bounds. Down to the 38 yard line. Ran over Claiborne, and now the Patriots are beginning to look like a beaten football team. As Bennett picks up 14 yards, that gives him 72 unofficially and 12 carries. And Carter has 14 carries for 94 yards. They're going to apparently keep Woody in the ball game. And the Dolphins uh, are going to go over, have gone over 500 yards for the second week in a row in total offense. Have the ball down at the three-yard line. And a second down coming up. Pete Johnson over the left side, bangs into the end zone behind a good block from Nat Moore. And the Dolphins score from three yards out. Johnson gets his second touchdown of the game, and it's now a 43 to 24 score. 111 to play, and the Patriots out of timeout. Kick is up, and it's good. So it's a 44 to 24 score. 69 yards, 10 plays, time of possession, 339 from the 22 yard line. Easton drops the throw, last play of the game. Steps up in the pocket. He falls down and is knocked down by Charles Benson at the 21 yard line. He stumbled coming out of the pocket, so that's the way things went for New England. Final score in a record-setting performance by Miami. The Dolphins 44, the Pats 24. Okay, we're going to uh, get in here and talk with Coach Shula for just a second before we break out of here. And Don, 8-0, uh, no, I know particularly coming. We haven't had a lot of pleasant conversation. Really, been, you've been pleasant, but the circumstances weren't up here in the past. Well, 8-0 is good, but I, I think I enjoy three games up over the uh, New England team a little bit more. Uh, but, you know, that's all part of it. We're, we're just going to continue to worry about the team that we're playing next week. And... Uh, uh, not worry about uh, whether we're 7-0 and or 8-0. And, and that's what happened in uh, 1972, and that's what I thought it was going to be right now. It was, you know, it was obvious out there, because every time New England started clawing its way back in the game, there you were, back in the, back in the scoreboard again. Well, this is Marino. He's been doing this right from the, the beginning with us, and uh, he just has that great confidence in his ability. He goes after it. And uh, we had a great drive at the beginning of the third quarter that got us a touchdown, used up a lot of clock against the wind. I felt real good there, but then the next thing I know, they got the touchdown right back on, on the pass uh, to Morgan. A uh, great, great throw uh, by Eason. But here again, uh, Marino answered him with a fine drive of our own that nullified that touchdown. And this is what the guy's been doing. 
Uh, we thought that uh, it was important to do it today because New England has uh, been a come-from-behind team, and they had to ha feel uh, pretty confident knowing that they have come from behind and that they are capable of coming from behind, but not against us.